Welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create and modify walls. Um, first off, walls can be very simple. They can also be very complicated. Um, but to actually start a wall, you'll just go to the, uh, make sure you're in the architecture tab and click on wall. And it will have a default wall inside of it. There's other walls that you can choose from. Most of these are commercial type walls. Um, and yeah, most of them, I think all of them are pretty much commercial type walls. Basically all of them have, um, steel studs in them, metal studs. You could use these to model a house with if you wanted to, or just, you know, of course, if you're using, have a commercial project you're working on, then, um, that would apply to the walls that are already in here. Uh, but let's say, let's choose this exterior brick on metal stud, just get us started. And we're going to make a building, or really just a rectangle. I'll we'll put a little character to it. There we go, a building with a little bit of character to it. <coughs> um, okay, so that's basically how you create walls, pretty simple. Um, and when you lay your walls down, you want to go in a clockwise fashion because that is the way that Revit arranges the in, the exterior finish and the interior finish. So if I were to go counterclockwise, my walls, the exterior finish would be on the inside and the interior finish would be on the outside. <coughs> but there is a way to change that. Um, this would kind of include our modified uh, wall, part of it anyway. But I would click on a wall, and I see this little arrow. This is a directional arrow, and this tells me, what it's telling me right now is that my exterior is on the outside of the house. If I click on it, now it's telling me it switched sides, and it's telling me that my exterior is on the inside of the structure. So we always want our exterior on the outside. Everything else involving walls is pretty simple. Um, to mod other, further modify them, you just click on the little grips at the end and pull them, <coughs> angle them, add to them, and do all kinds of things that you want. And uh, it's, it's as simple as drawing. Now where it gets a little bit more complicated um, is, well, this is going to be a residential building uh, house, so we're probably not going to go with the commercial type structural wall. A very basic um, residential wall would include these. So um, I actually have that wall selected. Now you can do this prior to um, laying down your walls, or you can lay them down first and then go in and edit um, the materials. But I'm going to click on Edit Type, and I get this dialog box. <coughs> I always duplicate because, you know, it just adds a, a new wall to my plan. I can just keep the original one in there and I will just call this, um, brick on, uh, timber, brick on timber stud, select OK, then click on the edit button right here. And that's on the structure line. I'll go back to that. Structure, edit. <coughs> okay, so it has my brick, has all my layers. Um, you see it has the exterior side, and it labels the exterior side. Then it has the interior side. That's the inside of the house. And this is showing you all the different layers of the wall. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this thermal air layer down um, to about one inch. Well, one point five inch. Uh, the membrane layer is good. I'm going to keep that. There's no measurement to that because it's just a membrane. It's very thin tar paper. Uh, and actually, this is air infiltration layer. I would rather have vapor barrier or vapor retarder. So I'll just click on vapor retarder, click OK, and it changed it here. Still no, no measurement, which is OK. Good. You don't want a measurement for that. Substrate, which is your plywood sheathing, uh, three quarter inch, all that's set, it's good to go. Structure, metal stud layer, we are gonna change that. And as you notice, they uh, have a core boundary on either side of that. 
uh, because the middle, the structure part, is your core. Uh, and on either side of it is your core boundary, which separates the exterior from the interior side. So metal stud, I'm going to change this to softwood lumber, and that is in here, right there. Click OK. Softwood lumber, and I'm going to change that to three and a half inches. Okay. Um, there is another membrane layer on the inside. Um, you don't have to have that. Uh, typically, residences do not have that double uh, membrane layer. So just um, click the line, and then you, so the whole line highlights, and then click on the delete button. And now on the inside, we have a finish jumpsome wallboard, one half inch. Um, that's good to go. It's it's kind of what we want on there anyway. Uh, so the only thing that's really changed is the thickness of our I mean, the thickness of our air infiltration layer, and the thickness of our two by fours. Well, and of course we put the vapor retarder on the outside. So when you're done, you click OK, and you click OK. Now watch this picture up here. I think it will change. There it is. See where it changed um, to represent a wall, uh, the new wall. Now, of course, the rest of your walls, and you can see too, it's also thinner, but the rest of your walls are still the, the original material. So I'm going to do a selection window, and then I'm going to click on the type selector to pull that menu down, and this is the wall that I just made. I'm going to click on that, and then it changed all of the walls to brick on timber stud. Okay, so that's how you do walls. Uh, interior walls, the same way. Uh, whatever materials you're going to use, just go in, edit. Um, and I, I usually edit mine first, and then I go and lay them out. Um, but uh, however you want to do that, you can do that first, or you can change them later. And any time during the process, you can change your materials, you can change those walls. Okay, well stay tuned for next video, which will be create and modify doors.